Pros.com and today I just thought it would be nice to do a little my thoughts on the new iPhone 4 that I just got last week and I've had a few days to work with it and um, just thought I'd tell you what I think of it. Let's go ahead and um, just go around the body a little bit. Of course on the front here you got the front facing camera. The front face camera there. Then you got your speaker on the side here. You have your volume up and down and your vibrate switch. On top of course you got your sleep wake button and your microphone and headphone jack. On the other side you just have the SIM where you put the SIM card in and then you have your speaker and your microphone there and three pin dock connector and home button. So there you goes. I have the wallpaper that um an actual television, CTXC here on YouTube, Child's Tripping Alley. Love those guys and um just supporting what they're doing. It's, I love watching their vlogs. Um uh, going and going to the app here. Not the app, I mean the phone. Um you have all your apps, you got your mail, your calendar, your clock, your camera, YouTube, app store, photos, maps, notes, calculator, weather, settings, I got Twitter down the bottom, I got Facebook, I got um, Shea Carl, and CTXC of course. And then of course I got all my apps that I use most, mostly every single day. And then just some games and some more bookmarks and stuff like that. And iTunes on the last page. So um, one thing that one of the new features about the iPhone 4 is the multitasking, where it brings up and you got all these apps here. Now one thing I've noticed that when you are using your um, iPhone 4 and you're doing the multitasking, your battery will run down dramatic. Oh, I mean, absolutely dramatically. It's crazy. Right now I have it. Can barely see up top, but it is 98 percent. And um, I just picked up my phone an hour ago and having gotten the internet or anything, and it's already down to 90 percent. That that is like unbelievable to me because Steve Jobs got up there and said that he was going to make the battery life better. In my opinion, it didn't improve in any way because the battery life goes down a lot, a lot. And um, the only way I can figure out how to Okay, not to do that, especially when I'm out and stuff. I make sure that the Wi-Fi is off, my Bluetooth's off, and also I go into um, into the um, multitasking. And when you hold it here, it lets you get rid of the ones you don't want to use. And usually I go through here because that is using up your memory and your battery life to remember where all these at. And they said that it wouldn't, but it absolutely does. I definitely notice if you move all these out of the way your battery life will run considerably better than what it was a few minutes before when you didn't have it there. So it, I, in my opinion it definitely works better. Also you got your um, of course you got your um, your texting and um, then you go on the side there and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and get it out of there. And so that works great for opening all that and then you got your of course your iPod and um, you go through all your iPod and all your iPod settings and of course you got everything right there that you need and you got, of course you got the videos and all that kind of stuff and the videos are I mean crystal clear then you can go into um, get your different apps and of course it's just all like the first iPhone so you go, go ahead and go into video here I do have the camera here so it's nothing new for, but it will focus. And of course, you got your zoom in and out, and then go over the video. And of course, you got your video. We can do that. You also have your um, flash. You want to turn on? And you see there, the light is on. So that works great for that purpose. I will be getting a um, talking about a camera. I will be getting a camera mount for the iPhone 4 off of eBay just to have to um, maybe do some videos with to test out the video quality and I like having a tripod because it makes it a lot easier to use. Um, of course you got all that like I said earlier. Um, let me think. Let's go into settings here 
and you got all your regular settings like last time. Of course, the wallpapers you do have the front uh, lock screen and the home screen, so you got all that. And of course, all those are the same like the last iPhone. I will show you real quick. I have not been using a case on this at all since I've gotten an iPhone 4, and if I hold it very lightly, but right now I am doing the death grip on it, and I did this earlier and it did start going down. See, I even turned, um, remember my ass, let's try that again. You hold really tightly. See, it's not even doing that. There you go, screwed right there. I'm just kidding. But um, I, I haven't had a septic issue. I did go on Apple, uh, go on to the um, Apple website and download the application for the iPhone 4 and I did order a case. I can't remember which one I got. It's free so I really don't care. So, but um, it's, I, I, I like the iPhone 4. It definitely is better than the iPhone 3G or 3GS. It works great. Yes, sometimes the reception issue does, is a pain in the rear, but I haven't been, you know, I've been dropping single calls since I've had it over the week. And so, um, my opinion, it's a great phone. The retina display is beautiful. It works great. I can go ahead and go into the photos here and maybe start a slideshow. Let's go ahead and go to the top here. But the slideshow is like that, and it's like, it's a just beautiful, beautiful display on the iPhone 4, and it, it works great. I love it. These are just some pictures I actually took with a Canon T1i at um, my church. So there's a lot of pictures there. But um, the camera works great and that thing works great. I definitely recommend I get this phone a 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely a great product from Apple. I'm hoping to get some cases for review. If you have any good cases you recommend for the iPhone 4, just leave a comment down below. and. Um, I'll see what I can do and maybe I'll try to get some and do some reviews on them and like to see what y'all opinions about that. Uh, leave me a video response for of your iPhone for review or any other type of review of an Apple product. We're all fanboys out here, aren't we? Love the Apple products and um, I'll see y'all later. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Check out um, my website at SeanMeaPros.com. Check out Twitter also at SeanMeaPros. Check out the YouTube channel here, all the descriptions down in the underbar, or I shake car I would say, in my pants. So go ahead and, and um, check all that stuff out, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace.